Ciao a tutti, come state? This is Don Colleone with another film review for the movie show. This week's film is called Brute Force. It's an early example of a prison drama, and it also serves as an action movie from a bygone era. I like this movie as it's sympathetic to the plight of the incarcerated. Although many of the men are probably hardened criminals, uh, their crimes do not compare to the evil machinations of the prison guards. Particularly this guy, Captain Muncy. This little chicken shit is worming his way to the top of the heap by betraying the trust of his colleagues and leaving a trail of violent abuse. Meanwhile, inside the prison, the inmates are preparing supper. What's on the menu, Don Corleone? I hear you say. Well, tonight it looks like roasted stool pigeon. So as with any good prison movie, there's an escape attempt in the pipeline. These poor schleps are digging a tunnel, but little do they know that the prison authorities are wise to their scheme. Captain Muncy continues to slap people about, and no one is safe from the back of his hand. This mamaluke gets a double dose. And to satisfy the evil captain's thirst for violence, he also gets the pipe. Meanwhile, the rest of the screws sit around playing cards, and they turn a blind eye to this poison dwarf's misconduct. So Muncy manages to gain full power over the prison when he's promoted to warden. But this little tin pot dictator's time has nearly run out. The prisoners have had enough of this megalomania and they decide to start a revolution. They're determined to bring his evil reign to an end. So they break out the Molotov cocktails and get the party started. And in all this heat, the evil Muncy orders his lackey to turn his gun on the crowd. Ah, messy business. Meanwhile, the gang attempting to escape hear about the action going on, and they want back in. Unfortunately, they too find themselves at the service end of a vicar's machine gun. Now, as you can see, uh, this guy's not going to go out without a fight, and it takes a giant leap of faith manages to neutralize the threat. This gives his colleagues just enough time to break back in. Unfortunately, this is the United States of America and everyone is armed to the teeth, which increases the chances of catching a bullet in this maelstrom. Westgate Penitentiary is now turned into a gunfight at the OK Corral. And this poor guy is taking a slug in the back. Meanwhile, Muncy continues to rain down a hail of bullets on the inmates, but he fails to notice our friend sneaking up on him. As with any revolution, a lot of blood has been spilled, and many comrades have paid the ultimate price in order to bring an end to this reign of terror. After one last struggle, this guy takes pity on Muncy and decides to save him from the raging inferno. Realizing his mistake, he keels over while the rest of the guards disperse the crowd using some sort of smoke grenade. A downbeat ending to a tough picture. I give this movie one, two, three, four Corleones out of a possible five. Hope you can join me next time for another film review.